In this wave burner chapter, I want to talk to you about using plugins. There are two different types of plugins that we can use inside of WaveBurner. Let's talk about region plugins first. Each one of these audio files here on the timeline is considered a region. So for example, if we wanted to apply an equalizer in compression only to track two here on our timeline, if we select this region or track, and then we go to region plugins, if we click and hold down and go to add plugin, notice that we have two different types. We have the Apple audio units, and if we click and hold down on those, you can see that we have different types of effects here. For example, I like their graphic EQ a lot. It gives us a 31 band EQ, so there we go. And then if we click and hold down on this again, we can go to the WaveBurner plugins, which are identical to the plugins that you use inside of Logic. So for example, if we want to go to Dynamics and I wanted to add a little bit of compression, let's go to Compressor, and now we've opened up these two different effects. Now, how do we work with these different effects? Turn them on and off, for example, and delete them. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. If we come over here, you can see the check marks next to the different plugins, the EQ and the compression. So for example, if I wanted to temporarily turn off the compressor, I just uncheck it. Same thing for the graphic EQ. If I want to delete the plugin, I just select it and press the delete key. So for example, if I touch this region, and I come here and I go to Wave Burner and I add a compressor. This compressor is only live on this region. When I touch the other region, notice that the compressor goes away. If I touch this region, the compressor comes back. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just delete that and let's talk about mix plugins. Mix plugins apply to everything that's here on the timeline. So it's just like a regular audio mixer. You know, if we're going to apply a, uh, a reverb or a gain boost, a phalanger, an EQ to the master output, that's what the mix plugins do. Imagine this is your master output, and whatever we put on mix plugins is going to apply itself to whatever the master output is. If we want to use wave burner plugins, once again, and we want to say apply a limiter to the master out, we can do that here. Notice under Mix Plugins, we have the plugin chain. These are a different combination of plugins that are used, for example, to create a dance music master. Notice that when we add that, it added, let's, uh, this was the limiter that we added, I'll delete that. Notice that it added these uh, three different uh, plugins. If we double click on each plugin, that's how we access the plugin. Double click, double click. So you can see that's how we access the different plugins inside of WaveBurner that way. We can twirl them down, and that way you can get to the, uh, to the details here. You can make your adjustments this way, or you can make your adjustments visually by double-clicking on the unit. So if we want to delete these, we'll just select them and press Delete. Once again, the two main differences between region and mix plugins is region plugins are the individual tracks or audio files themselves, and the mix plugin affects the master output of your project. That concludes this quick tutorial inside of WaveBurner about plugins.